Question on uh, on the scripts. Do you use what I call softeners? So, like, instead of just saying, you know, oh, what do you owe on the mortgage? Um, saying something like, uh, you know, I'm curious. Or, hey, you know, I have a quick question. Like, just something that kind of softens you into that. Does that make sense? You, you can do that or you can take the approach of there's just, you know, several questions that I will need answers to in order to get you the best deal for your house. Um, okay. You know, now a good time to get those questions answered. Gotcha. Because I just found them up front. You're going to ask questions. When, if, if anybody balks, it's one of my favorite questions to get asked is, well, why should I tell you what I owe in the house? Well, you know, because first of all, it's public information. If you want to give me five minutes, I'll just go look it up and call you back. If you don't know, I can tell you what it is. Public information this is not private stuff. I can tell you who you borrowed from, how much you pay, everything. Yeah. There, you know, really, today's day and age, I can find out anything I want about you. So what's the problem with giving me the information that would take me five more minutes? You know, this is going to be a problem. Maybe we shouldn't do business together. I like to, sh I prefer to shame people into stuff. <laughs> okay. Because it gets, it, you know, I'm not saying that tongue in cheek. I'm saying that really because it gets you to the finish line quicker and you can separate the, the players from the non-players, the people who are kicking tires versus somebody who's really interested in selling Somebody who's really interested in selling, they'll tell you the size of their shoe or whatever you ask. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And those are the serious people that you're going to end up doing business with. So if you have a lot of options on your plate, and that's, that's one of the reasons that I take more of that approach versus a softer approach. We get, we get literally uh, dozens of, of deals in every day from sellers and buyers, and we just don't have time to fiddle fart around with them. You just got to get to the bottom line. I'm just going to look and see. Just since this call, we've had uh, three, four deals uh, come in. We've got a one hot seller lead in Georgia. Here's a closing call that Kevin's lined up for Brandy where they owe uh, 40000 And it's worth on Zestimate 71. It's probably worth more. Um, here's another closing call. We don't have a Zestimate on. It's in Texas, but they're only asking 25000 for two properties. No to terms, but they want cash. So it could be, you know, uh, it could be a really good deal. So, you know, we get so many deals in that it we can't, we just don't have time to fiddle fart around with these guys. You know, I just need, I need the information in order to get you the best deal. Are you still interested in getting the best deal? What are they going to say? No, I don't want the best deal. Okay. <laughs> Let me give you... Uh, you know, some names of people on Craigslist that you might want to call. Maybe they can work with you. If you're selective and you, you give that air of selectiveness, uh, if you're really selective, you'll get more respect and you'll get better answers and you'll get more, you'll get to the true motivation quicker from these sellers. I, I think it's a little shift for me because, you know, studying NLP, I build rapport really easily and like mm -hmm. I'm... You know, I just, I like to get people to like me in, in situations, but I think on the phone, it's almost better to like do a little bit less of that and just be a little more direct sometimes while, yeah. while still using their language patterns and their pace and all that stuff. But, um, yeah. Okay. That's, that's good. I, I like that. It's good insights. You know how to do it. There's, there's, as we always say, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Um, you can take one approach. You can take the other approach. I, I've been doing this too long. I'm too old to put up and suffer with fools. And so it's just kind of like, you know what? I don't care where I make the next $30,000 payday. It could be wherever, um, you know, and that's just how I decide to run my business. Um, but, you know, there's, you, you, you know, like my grandfather always told me, you get more flies with honey than vinegar. So you're probably right. It's a better thing to build rapport. But um, we've had this question asked a lot over the last year, you know, people don't want to give you their, you know, their mortgage information. Yeah, just tell them it's public information. You know, if you want to share your screen with me, I'll show you, look it up. We can just look it right up. It's pretty straightforward. So I, I'm just trying to save time to get you the best price. Are you still interested in getting the best price? Best deal. Like that. What are they going to say? No, I'm not interested. Okay. Click. Move on. Some will, some won't. So what next? Move on.